We're working on section 9.1 from your textbook. This is all about sets, intersections, and unions. And first of all, a definition of a set. A set is a well-defined collection of objects. A well-defined collection of objects. <laughs> Let's give an example. First of all, the set of single-digit positive numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and de toi, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, if you like French. And there's lots of different languages you could say those numbers in. But whatever language you say them in. Uh, you want to do Mandarin? Yeah. I don't know. I'll do uh, Hindi. Mandarin. char panch sat ad no. All right, we'll do uh, Spanish, Spanish. Somebody? No, louder, louder, louder. Ah, no, yes. Nueve. Nueve, nueve. Gracias. Um, Mandarin? No. Yes, you want me to do Mandarin? Yes, yes. So there you go. Uh, the set of single digit positive numbers. Let's take another set. Mandarin. Mandarin, Mandarin. Mandarin. Want to do Mandarin? Yes. I'm Chai Chu Chao Chi all right, what about the set of negative numbers? All negative numbers. Now, how we notate this, the set of all negative numbers, is we write our curly cue brackets and start naming them off. So it's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. We don't want to go on forever. We know what that is. Negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, all the way to negative infinity. We put a dot, dot, dot there, and then the other end of the curly cue bracket. And that's how we show the set of all negative numbers. Do we have any other sets we can think of, sets of numbers? Fractions. fractions, good job. The set of all fractions, okay? Good job. That's an interesting thing because on a number line, look, on a number line, this is real, gets real interesting here. Here's your 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And your negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Now, what David just mentioned, which is brilliant, is that there's a bunch of numbers in between these lines, okay? In between the markers, there's a whole bunch of numbers. They're called fractions. And there's just tons of them, all right? They're called little divisions. If you're into music, music takes notes, right? Seven notes, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do, right? And what it does is it takes notes in between them and divides them up. In some cultures, they divide them up many, many times. And then you slide through them. The simple principle in mathematics as well, you can either skip from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., or you can actually slide through into the fraction area in between the 0 and the 1. Anybody know what the set of all numbers is? Let's say we've got our counting numbers, and we unite that with our negative numbers. Union? Union, yeah, that's what we do. Let's say we unite all the fractions, we unite all of the negative numbers, we unite all the positive numbers, what would we have? We would have the set of all... It's called the set of all real numbers, okay? All real numbers. And we would notate it like this. That's the set of all real numbers. Which one are the what? Imaginary numbers. So when we go outside of our own boundaries in terms of the number line, see the set of all real numbers are all possible numbers in the number line. The, when you go outside the number line, we're talking about an alternate universe here, we have to create what are called complex or imaginary numbers, and there's a whole set of rules that governs those. And if you get really crazy and into college math, it, it just goes beyond that, where you start defining subsets and sets and topology, and it's crazy. But anyway, that's another story. Um, for now, all you need to know is how to create a set. Now we're talking about the union of two sets. The union of two sets, A and B, Okay, set A, set B, is written in this form with it. the A uh, union symbol and the B, A union B. And what it is, is the set of all members in A or B or both. And we're going to do some examples from the book, from your homework. The set of all members in A or B or both. That's a, oh. that's a no. All right, that's your definition. Let's do an example. Quick hello. Okay. A visitor. Hi, I'm a visitor. Quick hello. There you go. <laughs> now, as far as examples go, examples of union, we've got, let's say we've got a set A, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, a set B, 0, 1, 2, and a set C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, let's set we've got three different sets with different numbers in them, and we ask you to find the union of A and B. A union B. Well, 
A is negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. And B is 0, 1, 2, 3. The union of them is all the numbers in both of them, but you don't count 0 twice. You just count it once. So it's negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Simple as that. As far as the union of B and C goes, again, you have two numbers in common, 1 and 2. You count them, you include them, but you don't include them twice. So you write 0, 1, 2. Don't include them twice. 3, 4, 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the union of B and C. Let's go talk about intersection now. Intersection is symbolized by this upside down U. The intersection of two sets, A and B, written A intersect B, is a set of all members common to both. The members that are common to both and nothing else. So let's see in our example what that looks like. So examples of intersection, we have the same samples here, the set negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, and zero, B, 0, 1, 2, and C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The intersection of A and B is simply 0 because that's the only one that's common to both, A and B. B intersects C is uh, only thing common to both is 1 and 2. That's the only thing that's common to both. And guess what? If you do the intersection of A, B, and C, there's nothing in common. Negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. 0, 1, 2. Well, 0 works for A and B, but it doesn't work for C. 1 and 2 work for B and C, but it don't work, doesn't work for A. It's like a party where people just don't mix, okay? You got your A people, your B people, your C people, and A and B have a couple conversations, B and C have a couple conversations, but A, B, and C don't mix, and that's just the way it goes. You got nothing in common, it's the big void, nothingness, the abyss. So the homework on this particular section, 9.1, is page 403, numbers 1 through 30, all. Page 403, number 1 through 30, all, is your homework for sets, and it's 9.1. Visitor! Hi, I'm a visitor. Quick hello. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. It makes it more fun.